Hey guys, Jimmy Vegas here, and in this mini Unity tutorial, I'm going to show you where you can get a skybox and how you can apply it to your scene. Don't forget, click subscribe button, click the bell icon as well, stay up to date with every tutorial on my channel because there is loads for you guys to learn. With that in mind, let's get to work. So a skybox, if you don't know what a skybox is, generally it is described as this big thing in the sky. Currently, it is just plain blue. And that is the default skybox that you get with any scene when you create a new one in Unity. Usually you'd see maybe clouds or space or, you know, depending on what type of game it is, you could apply pretty much anything to a skybox. How do you get a skybox? Well, if you go to the asset store right here, if you don't have this tab, all you can do is hold control on your keyboard and press the number nine and it will open up the asset store. In here, you can search for the word skybox, all one word. Or if you're not comfortable working in the new asset store, you can actually switch to the old asset store right here. I actually prefer the old asset store as I feel it's much, much more user friendly. So here, skybox, hit return. And because everything on this channel is free, let's click on free only. You'll have a nice selection of different skyboxes. A skybox is basically a six sided, can't think of it as a material texture sort of thing, which basically encompasses the entire world. You can pick any of these skyboxes. For example, let's go with a wispy skybox right here. Uh, I have no input to this. This is something I've chosen. Uh, I like quite a lot of these skybox actually. All you would need to do is click on import or download or whichever appears for you. Again, you can choose pretty much any skybox and you can download all the skyboxes you would want. Once they're downloaded and in your project, if you go to window, then click on rendering and click light settings. This was different in previous versions of Unity. Previously, it did have the light settings in the windows menu, but it has been moved to the rendering sub menu as of about Unity 2017.2 or 3 ish. Uh, so once you have this option open for the rendering, uh, the lighting, you need to click up here where it has skybox material. Click the little radius button next to it and you'll see this right here. All you need to do is pretty much just type in sky and it will more than likely find any skybox that you have. And as you can see here, I have quite a lot of skyboxes within this project. Uh, so let's have, for example, sky early dusk and see what that looks like in the game view. Hopefully it shouldn't be too irregular. You just have to remember if you're using post processing, obviously the skybox is going to have an effect. So if we look at that right now, that looks kind of cool. You just have to be conscious of your scene in general and what skybox you're using. As you can see, it looks fairly decent, but there are little bits that don't quite fit the skybox. So remember, you can always just change it going back to that menu and changing it right there. So if I have sky, morning, midnight, night, noon, sunset, so let's go with sunny, sunny one skybox. And let's press play and have a look how that looks. So as I say, you just have to remember different skyboxes can have different effects on your scene. So if you're going for the whole realism thing, that doesn't look half bad. So guys, I hope that's helped. Hope that helps you understand Skybox and where you can get one from and how you can apply it to your scene. Remember, there is tons to learn on my channel. Thank you very much, guys, for watching, and I will see you around.